Hey, hello, welcome to another video and this week I want to share with you how to make these beautiful knitting lace papers. If you follow me for a while, you know that in March I did a live workshop where I share several techniques and one is do, was doing this, and but it was a live that was not for, uh, it's not live anymore. And I had a few requests about how could I, if I could share um, publicly how this is made. So here I am. I also want to share with you that this was inspired in two other artists that I really admire. And so you, I'm going to share with you a longer video. I will use a PDF uh, with poppies that you can download for you. If you join our Nature Magic Art Newsletter, it's a bi-weekly newsletter where I share all things with nature and create with nature. I love to bring nature into my art table and explore mixed media techniques, combine everything and add into my journals and collage pages. So I invite you to join me this is a community where I share gifts, ideas, tutorials. So you have the link below this box and you can subscribe. This month, September, we are sharing and offering this PDF that I will use on this video and in the next one. So uh, if you don't know me yet, let me present myself. I'm Francisca Nunes, a mixed media artist. I live in Portugal and I love to use nature to bring inspiration into my art table and explore mixed media techniques. So join me. Let's jump into my art table where I'm going to share how I do these beautiful light knitting papers to add into my art journal. So the idea for these kind of works where we are this knitting paper where you just crumple and make holes into the paper, broken it down. It came from uh, two uh, inspiration, two artists that I very admire and I really um, want to talk about a little bit because, uh, you know, we always are inspired by so many artists and the, the works of others and ideas are flowing and really it's a manner sometimes we see something that sparks some imagination some okay i'm going to turn this into that how i can turn this into my my own work so the first work that i want to mention is the work of Inesh Seidel which is um um a german artist and she does these amazing altered books and works with paper and other sculptures, um, mainly with paper and textiles. And she does these um, beautiful, let me just, okay, this alteration of papers where she adds sewing and then I think it's like smashed and it incorporates other elements. So I, I'm very drawn to this. I'm very inspired by her work. And uh, looking at her work made me just thought on how can I do that? And then the other uh, lady, the other artist that I really love, that is Chili Rhodes. And on her book, Fragmentation and Repair, and if you follow my work, you know I love fragments, broken, faded, torn things. And um, she talks about a lot of discarded and abandoned things and look at around you. And I, I'm always, when I thought on this, I'm, I thought on, let's uh, see nature how it is outside. Now that summer is almost at the end um flowers will broken will fade will broken down so i thought okay if i left some kinds of paper some papers outside how could they turn into and so uh, i really love this the way that uh shelly wrote think and works because it's really similar to the way I see 
and so she has a lot of these kind of works on making holes and like uh, damaging the tie styles and the papers and making these holes you know so these were and also looking at this knitting um tie styles uh, on her these squares i thought well i want to make something like this these are the inspiration board for this kind of work and so today i wanted to share the way i do it and as i told you i did already this in march in a, a live workshop that i gave for free and but it was not available to everyone so because i had so many uh, some requests on how i did this so i'll bring this series of videos where i'm sharing these and some other techniques um and yeah this is going to be the video today so stay tuned and by the way i will be you i will be using these two poppies if you want to download your poppies and make this knitting paper with these poppies you have the link below to sign up to our newsletter so without further ado let's go and start our knitting paper the first thing we are going to do is to use a sewing machine and we are going to uh, make um, stitching along the paper okay we are going to stitch our uh, vertical lines and then cross the horizontal lines to make like a square in here you can really play with the length of our of your the space in between layer um, lines with your paper to create little holes or bigger ones, okay? So you can make it more close to each other or make them a part of each other so you can create differentiation on the, the squares, for example. Here they are little squares and here I have bigger squares okay that's the way i like to do it in here i'm preparing some other papers because really you can do this technique using any kind of paper that you like and varying the kind of paper and the prints that you have will make more um interesting to your knitting paper so you can add them into your journals i will use the paper of our poppies and several other papers that I have. The next thing you are going to select the colors that you are going to use on your stitching. Any color that you like will work, okay? This is regular uh, cotton thread for sewing machine. A thing that is important to do um, is first tip um, you're gonna use um, a paper needle, but I just don't take care on that. I use any kind of needle machine that I find. So here, when we go to the, the end, we are going to stitch a little more to have a more wide thread after we move the, the thread to the other side so when we are um, just fragment our paper the thread don't go away because we have a continuation of thread all over the the paper okay so you are going like this and you create another thread so now i have space enough to go and do it again the other side if you do it all in the same size side you have all the thread in the same color if you change you are going to have unless you have in the other um, 
under the needle the thread in the same color if you have another one you will have changing colors right have the papers soon and they were sewed and now they are ready for the next step and for what we need is a container with warm water and a plastic so we don't do a big mess and the first thing I'm going to start with this one we are going to just submerge this into the water and because it's wet because it's water and because it's warm it's going to you see the paper very thin now and what i like to do i just go and let's just crumple the paper and you already start seeing and as much as your paper is um thin this is going to happen very fast i already see my paper broken down can you see this like the poppy is already uh, taking off and you now can go here in two ways just let me put this the second one here just to you can continue just smashing with your fingers and let it go wherever it goes or you select areas um look at that it's really almost so i like to just uh shred like a little bit on the edges because i really like that it feels like it was very organic uh not very well thought on that okay and after you feel that is pretty much the way you want we are going to set aside and let it dry i'm going to do this one and of course depending on the kind of papers that you have it's going to be different the results and how and um, the way it will broken down because the papers are different for example this one is tracing paper i believe i think it was so we need more and here it's like washing your clothes you because you know i thought on this like i told you like it was winter and we let or fall autumn and the flowers are now um broken down getting faded and you actually 
are going to just damage like that. So, and you can go very, uh, very hard on these, like it almost have a skeleton of the paper. Okay, look at that. It's going to then dry, really like going to just damage a little bit here. It seems like you are handled with a little bit of a fabric, a muslin. So here we have a, the other one. So you start to see the paper crumpling and falling apart already. I'm going to just um, with the fingers. Get that we have this falling parts here then after dry you can take that off or you can just see if uh, there are parts that you still want to take off and you can submerge again in the water and take it apart i'm now going to let this dry very well and then see what i want to go what i want to do from here to fasten the process we can add this in between towels and then absorb the most of the water and then with a heating source we are going to dry and but of course if you have sun outside you can put the outside in your balcony or something like that and in a few hours it might be it should be dried If you see that you need a little more we can just go ahead and continue fragment our paper now we have these beautiful, beautiful, it seems like knitting paper. Uh, and you can fragment it more or less, depending on what you want. You know, and these leftovers that turn upside down, you can take them off or embrace them and let it there. I really like this white um, showing up. So, from here, we could just use it right away. It's amazing. It's already beautiful to add into a journal, and I will do that in a minute. But also, we can just go further a little bit and do something more. Um, in order to make it more strong, we can use gesso, white gesso, or clear gesso if you want to make this um, transparent, but I will do on the back side. And sometimes I do on the other side too, in some parts. And we come here and we can use, for example, an old credit card and we take a little bit and we just add 
And here you can use a heavy gesso or mine is middle. It's not so heavy. You can use plaster of Paris to make it stronger. It's really beautiful. And again, depends on what you want. The strength of that and if you want to hidden uh, everything on but of course if I use an image I don't want to um, uh, hidden everything I just want parts of it oops okay look at that and for example on parts of this one here So now it's time to dry again and see what happens here. Awesome, love it. So they are very well dried and now with the, the um, gesso they are more strong, more incorp more embodied and it's really a beautiful way, beautiful element to add to a journal. So I would use these beautiful papers inside my journals or as an in a page by itself I would sew these for example like this one uh, this one is glued but I would we can glue or sew I think I would sew for example let me see but here I love this because in here I would sew like this here because it seems f no like this yes was turned upside down because it seems like I have here the rest of the poppy and it seems like the underneath is a poppy and then we flip and we see these rows and this um old blank part in here so it would be an amazing adding into my flowers journal or I would add uh, parts, just parts of it, like embellishments of pages, for example. Let me see if I could cut these. Not precise. We can have elements to add into a page, for example, here. Let me see if I find another one that I would like to add. That one I like it. Let me see. On pay on fabric it could be very beautiful too. Hmm. For example, in parts of his like this, I would attach this in here. I will I will do that because it really goes very well. So, hands and stitch here. As an element of a page like this. Like this, so yeah, handless possibilities. Or as in here, I glue it on a page. This one is beautiful in here. For example, yeah. So, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this uh, week video. I'm trying to bring uh, be weekly videos so I can make them and make other stuff too. So, um, if you want to have the poppy, don't forget you have uh, on the box below 
you have the link to sign up to our newsletter. We try, I'm trying to give gifts like monthly and uh, PDFs, free digital downloads that goes with the video. So, yeah, it's a beautiful community and we are always sharing ideas and tips. So, um, also, you have the Facebook group that you can join us and see what's happening all there. Uh, many sharings daily with flowers and nature inspiration. So, yeah, it's um, it's all for this week. I hope you enjoy, enjoy and have fun creating. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.